Hey, what's going on guys? All right, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Converse Men's Chuck Taylor All-Star Core Ox. These are the white sneakers, obviously. While these are the men's version, I've always seen these as like completely unisex shoes, so whoever you are, you know, these shoes are, are great for men or women alike. So yeah, this is the new style white Chuck Taylors. I know for, before they used to have, essentially they've, they've changed the logo a little bit, which is only really the main difference. Now you can see they have the Converse logo on the tongue along with the All-Star. And then also on the back, they've changed it so they have the All-Star logo with the Converse as well. So really the Converse has just been added to both of those logos. That's really the only main difference. Other than that, yeah, they're just pretty much your, you know, your standard pair. They've you know, these, these types of shoes have really been, I think, a staple for summer shoes for quite a, a while. I think they may have went out out of style for a few years, but they're definitely coming back. I'm seeing them a lot more. I think, you know, thank you because I, I, I really love Converse. These ones in particular, a really nice color detailing. You have the red stripe that goes right along the outside all the way to the back and all the way around, as well as a blue stripe that does the same thing. And you also have, you know, the nice like rubber front soles up here, which are, you know, your standard in Converse. And uh, overall, they're just a really, really nice light and thin shoe. I mean, even like, you know, the canvassing is really, really nice and thin throughout and it's much, I feel like better for summer in that way because when you compare it to heavier shoes, I, I know I wear a little bit heavier shoes in the winter, Vans or Air Maxes or even boots. And so to have, you know, an alternative that's just really thin and nice and light and breathable, especially when it gets hot out here. I mean, I live in California, and so it gets, you know, pretty hot during the summer. So that's really, really nice to have. In terms of the actual, you know, style and what they go well with, I honestly believe these go well with anything. I'm not really a shorts guy. I don't wear shorts a lot. I wear jeans pretty much all the time. I think I only, only pretty much own black jeans. And so these are great with those. They're great with, you know, blue jeans, girlfriend also has a pair of these she wears them with you know blue jeans her shorts whatever so they really really go well with with uh, anything they're also very complimentary with white t-shirts and things like that I wear a lot of white tees and so you know it's they're kind of a nice compliment to that one thing you've probably noticed as I've been spinning these around is and I've I just got these a little over a month ago they do get dirty fast. So, you know, you do have to take time. I probably will within the next like week or so when things start to settle down. It's definitely like, you know, cleaning the canvas is I think like the most important part because you want to keep them nice and shiny and they do attract a lot of dirt, especially being white shoes. So if you're someone who's, you know, constantly hiking or like, you know, doing a lot of outdoor stuff and, and want to use these for that, uh, I would definitely not recommend it because they will pick up a lot of dirt. I did, however, clean off the rubber points right up here. Pretty easy. Usually you can just take something like a, like a wet wipe and just kind of, you know, scrub off any little scuff marks. That's pretty easy. But for the canvas, yeah, you need to like wash it or really go in there with like a toothbrush or something along those lines and really scrub it off. But yeah. As for the size, these have a nice fit, although Converse, I think, typically just run small. And that's just always been a thing. So I would definitely recommend going a half size up at least. I wear a nine and a half, I got these in a 10, and they fit perfectly. So would we'll keep that in mind. As for their comfort, Converse, I don't think I've ever really prided themselves on having good support. I know they've, they've tried to kind of, 
you know, market that people say, oh, we're changing it and we're making um, our shoes so that they have better support. But I still believe these are, you know, they're pretty flat footed shoes. You know, that's one thing that, you know, if you're looking for something to run in or again, do like physical activity with like hiking or such, like I would definitely not wear these. You know, and they're comfortable. They're comfortable to like kick back in and walk around or whatever, like, you know, do easy tasks in. But if you're going for long walks, I mean, I've definitely had, you know, longer days like at school or at work or whatever. And I've been wearing these and they do get uncomfortable after a while. So, you know, another thing you should keep in mind, especially if you're a flat footed person like I am, or maybe you just have like really wide feet. These can get pretty uncomfortable if you're wearing them for long periods of time and like strenuous activity. Other than that, yeah, Converse. I mean, these, you know, these new Chuck Taylors, these All-Stars, they're, they're awesome. They uh, they last forever, they really do. I, this is the, like the third pair I've had. And the other reason is just because I totally destroyed the other ones, you know, and, and, but for normal wear, I mean, these things will really last you. For a very very long time so i would highly highly recommend them yeah guys have fun and you know yeah pick up a pair of uh white all-stars for uh for summer take it easy <laughs>